I came to Richmond knowing that I was going to pick leadership studies. It was the draw for me. The Jepson program is what made me want to come to the University of Richmond. A lot of people, they search forever and ever trying to figure out what's that thing in life that really sparks them. And when I took Justice in Civil Society, I knew it was education and I knew that I had to stay in Jepson. The Jepson School affords its uh, students and its graduates the opportunity to say, I have had a different education. I have had a, an education on steroids. I've had an education on ethics and I've had an education on how to live and make it in this world in a very positive way. The Jepson education goes past the four walls of a classroom or even your four years as an undergraduate. Being a Jepson student, you not only get to work with the best faculty in the world, but the lessons they teach you go into every aspect of your life and not only make you a better student and a better leader, but a better person. I think that the program at the Jepson School of Leadership Studies really does represent a model for 21st century liberal education. The University of Richmond is going to be in the 21st century more broadly respected even than in the past because of this leadership school. This college and this leadership school, the Jepson School of Leadership Studies, will be the banner leadership of all of higher education schools of leadership studies because it is number one, it is first, it sets the stage, and it will attract the attention and the confidence and the belief not only in the leadership school but for the university itself in Richmond, Virginia. This is where it all began. This is WRIC TV 8 News at 6. Well, in other news this evening, the University of Richmond is inaugurating a new school to train future leaders. It is the first school of its kind in the entire nation. I think it's critically important for students who are graduating from college these days to be able to lead ethically. Today, I think we still have that great need to have leaders who have a moral and ethical um, foundation. So I was excited that Bob was willing to start on this um, unbelievable, exciting path. We have tried very hard to not only teach them about moral philosophy, but also to help instill in them the habits of good decision making. Not just effective, but also ethical decision making. If you make ethics a standard for everyone, it makes it possible for everyone to succeed better and also to fail better. I think it's a very interesting topic that the Jepson School chooses to teach us and being in that class I think really taught us that when you get into the real world it's very very easy to have your morals kind of disappear. Our students have taken what they have learned here in the nonprofit world and the for-profit world and have put their education to beneficial use. I think the interesting thing about Jepson School Ethics and Leadership is that there's so many different facets and that's really what the professional world is. Uh, you're not just tied to one spot, you're not just tied to one career. Um, the world is, you know, as we know it, it's, it's globalization and I think that, you know, having an ethical background is something that's super important and Jepson has really taught me to be a global leader. What we really want from our students is to create a sense of responsibility that they have for the world around them. The Susanna Simoniova Chmelikova Visiting Scholar Program in Leadership and Ethics at the Jepson School of Leadership Studies is an opportunity for international scholars to come to Richmond and really help develop courses, design programs, and do research that they can take back to their own countries to serve their students and enable them to grow based on the experience that they have here in Richmond. Leadership is not just a competition, it's not just a struggle for power, it's a learning process and often the best leaders are those who have taken the time to learn the most. After I graduate, um, my long-term plans is to work um, to solve some of the social and economic um, problems in India. Going into the Army, I think leadership studies will be I think I'll use it every single day. Thanks to Jepson, I have a whole different worldview and outlook and will be a teacher soon. 
I could not be more pleased with what has been done here. It's special.